Hello, my name is Daniel. It's time for more 486 Nostalgia. This is something that I used to mess with when I was a kid. It's called uh, Desktop Toys. It runs in Windows. So here is my Windows prompt. This is the Desktop Toys. Let's just open up my old program manager here and make that a bit bigger, which then means I can't look at the Desktop Toys. Okay, here we go. And then, nope, it's gone again. Oh, Windows 3.1. How easy to use you were. Alright. I spent way too long playing this when I was a kid. There really was no need. Okay, let's start with... Hmm... Photon. I'll give him a go. So he... Okay, he hits things next to him. And he lasers things that are far away. Awesome. So this was used to destroy your desktop. This is why I wanted to get the, uh, the stuff up in the background. It'd be so much fun to do that with text and icons. Hold on. It's in startup, bizarrely. So there we go. Uh, just start again. It's fine. It's totally fine. Great. This is pretty good. So that was Photon. Um, let's try Space Cruiser Attack. I think you fly with the right button. Destroy your desktop with the uh, the left. Ah, desktop toys die. Yep, yep. Okay. But yeah, this amused me for absolute hours when I was a kid. Loved it. Pablo the Painter. He doesn't work so well in Windows 7. But he's perfect here. I found it interesting. When you paint with him, the more you paint, I think, yeah, there we go. The brush starts getting... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't paint quite as solidly. But if you let him redip, then it's fine. <laughs> I thought that was a clever touch. Well, yep, that's Pablo up and down the ladder, and da -da -da. okay. The toolbox is a bit disappointing. It's this hammer, yeah, which is which is great. You can make holes in your dress book all day, and it's this. Yep, ruined. And then back to hammer. <laughs> if you right click, you can change. But it's just those two things. So that's that's the toolbox. I guess that's all any man needs in his toolbox. Um, Theodore. Theodore's my favorite. Uh, here's why. Yep, <laughs> he's pretty awesome. That's all he does. <laughs> this still brings me way too much amusement. Okay. Um, the razor. It's pretty simple. And ever since I was a kid, this is what the sound I imagine an eraser makes. Okay, who left with these two gravity kids? The arsenal. Yeah, these guys. So they throw these balls. And they walk around. And I think they can catch them again. Yep. Spacebar changes to the other one. They're called the gravity kids. I'm trying to understand trying to understand if the ball is affected by their gravity. I don't think it is. I guess he can't catch his own. But he can catch the ones that the other guy throws at him. Oh, that way. No. Uh, yeah. I don't get it. But that's them. Oh, he can catch his own. Yep, Ned and Pid, the gravity kids. Um, Let's try... 
We're going to leave that to last. Desktop splat. It's awesome. Okay. Here's the arsenal. More loud guns. Shotgun. Nope. Flamethrower. Of course. I should have known. And the flames climb a little bit. It's quite nice. Okay. Oh, and one more. They have the uh, massive... Yep. Love the big shotgun shell that comes off it there. No, it's not a shotgun shell. I'm stupid. Never mind. The massive shell. And this uh, is the same noise as the Space Invader thing. Gotta save money somewhere. Okay, desktop splat. Mm, should I like clean the desktop first? Yeah, there's too much black. Let's start this again. Just waiting for the spring. There we go. Okay, so desktop splat. You get a random object that you can bedoing. And then if you don't catch it, it goes splat, which which is pretty cool. Um, they all kind of just fall there. Yeah, I did love this. Like, I think this was ninety percent of the uh, time that I spent on this piece of software was playing this. Ah, just so satisfying. You can see the cheating with the shadow there. <laughs> it just goes further and further and never stops. I'll let it stop. Oh, wow. That was pretty awesome. Apparently now the fish has five heads. That's, yep. <laughs> Fair enough. I loved this. Loved it so much. So, yep. The higher you can send the things up in the air the more impressive is the splat oh no oh for some reason I used to think the chip was like the grossest one I think I, I forget what it looks like mmm that's a normal splat I don't think that was the gross splat Okay. Oh, that's pretty gross. That I I don't think the chip is gonna top that. Oh yeah. I love that the weight of the monitor means that the screen always faces in the direction of travel. Is that it? Have we seen all of them? We haven't. Uh, we haven't fully splattered this one or the chip. So I had this on a demo disc, and uh, I think it only had the gun from the arsenal, and that's all it had. Everything else was like, buy now, blah, blah, blah. The way the shareware games Ooh. always were. Um, oh, and here is the uh, what I call the shotgun shell from earlier. Let's get another one of those. Pretty sure it makes a pretty big explosion. Maybe we'll get a mega splat with this one if I can hit it enough times. <laughs> oh. I was so sure that would be a mega splat. I wonder what the chicken's mega splat is. I have to find out. Sorry. This is probably super boring if you're not playing this. But I am enjoying myself.
Yeah, you know, that'll do. But yep, yeah, that's the splat portion of the game. Um, have we seen everything? I believe we have. Yep. So we'll finish off with a little bit of your favourite and mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so thank you for watching. This has been uh, Thaniel with Desktop Toys for Windows 95, but it works in Windows 3.1, as you can see. Um, thank you for watching, and have a good life.